Welcome back. This is Gary with Helicopter Ground. This lesson will be concerning the remote pilot responsibility in managing small unmanned aircraft loading issues. This is information you will need to know to pass your exam. Leave your comments, questions below. Always feel free to get a hold of me at Gary at HelicopterGround.com for questions. We have ongoing customer support 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday Eastern. We are here for you, our members, to answer questions. If we cannot get the questions answered by simply looking at part 107 or the FAA circular, we will get a hold of FISDO and get you the answer you need. So let's move through this presentation. Compliance with manufacturer's limits. Before any flight, the remote pilot in command or PIC should verify the aircraft is correctly loaded by determining the weight and balance condition of the aircraft. An aircraft's weight and balance restrictions established by the manufacturer or the builder should be closely followed. Compliance with the manufacturer's weight and balance limits is critical to flight safety. The remote PIC must consider the consequences of an overweight aircraft if an emergency condition arises. Factors affecting max gross weight. Although a maximum gross takeoff weight may be specified, the aircraft may not always safely take off with this load under all conditions. Conditions that affect takeoff and climb performance, such as high elevations, high air temperatures, and high humidity, high density altitudes, may require a reduction in weight before flight is attempted. Other factors to consider prior to takeoff are runway, launch area, length, surface slope, surface wind, and the presence of obstacles. These factors may require re a reduction in weight prior to flight. Weight changes during flight also have a direct effect on aircraft performance. Fuel burn is the most common weight change that takes place during flight. As fuel is used, the aircraft becomes lighter and performance is improved. This could have a negative effect on balance, although. In small unmanned aircraft operations, weight change during flight may occur when expendable items are used on board, such as a jettisonable load. Consequences of adverse balance. Adverse balance conditions, i.e. weight distribution, may affect flight characteristics in much the same manner as those mentioned for an excess weight condition. Limits for the location of the center of gravity, otherwise referred to as the CG, may be established by the manufacturer. The CG is not a fixed point marked on the aircraft. Its location depends on the distribution of aircraft weight. As variable load items are shifted or expended, there may be a resultant shift in CG location. The remote PIC should determine how the CG will shift and the resultant effects on the aircraft. If the CG is not within the allowable limits after loading or do not remain within the allowable limits for safe flight, it will be necessary to relocate or shed some weight before flight is attempted. Gravity is the pulling force that tends to draw all bodies to the center of the earth. The CG may be considered as a point at which all the weight of the aircraft is concentrated. If the aircraft were supported at its exact center of gravity, it would balance in any attitude. It will be noted that CG is of major importance in a small unmanned aircraft for its position has a great bearing upon stability. The allowable location of the CG is determined by the general design of each particular aircraft. The designers determine how far the center of pressure will travel. It is important to understand that an aircraft's weight is concentrated at the CG and the aerodynamic forces of lift occur at the CP or center of pressure. When the CG or center of gravity is forward of the CP center of pressure, there is a natural tendency for the aircraft to want to pitch nose down. If the center of pressure is forward of the center of gravity, a nose up pitching moment is created, flight equilibrium. Therefore, designers fix the aft limit of the CG forward of the CP 
for the corresponding flight speed in order to retain. Weight has a definite relationship to lift. This relationship is simple but important in understanding the aerodynamics of flight. Lift is the upward force on the wing acting perpendicular to the relative wind and perpendicular to the aircraft's lateral axis. Lift is required to counteract the aircraft's weight and stabilized level flight when the lift force is equal to the weight force. The aircraft is in a state of equilibrium and neither accelerates upward or downward. If lift becomes less than weight, the vertical speed will decrease. When lift is greater than weight, the vertical speed will increase. Stability is the inherent quality of an aircraft to correct for conditions that may disturb its equilibrium and to return to or to continue on the original flight path. It is primarily an aircraft design characteristic. Areas affecting stability. First off, maneuverability. The quality of an aircraft that permits it to be maneuvered easily and to withstand the stresses imposed by maneuvers. It is governed by the aircraft's weight, inertia, size, and location of flight controls, structural strength, and power plant. It's also an aircraft design characteristic. Controllability, the capability of an aircraft to respond to the pilot's control, especially with regard to flight path and attitude. It is the quality of the aircraft's response to the pilot's control application when maneuvering the aircraft regardless of its stability characteristics. In the next video we'll talk about load factors. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to get the information down that you'll need to pass your knowledge test. We will call that good for part one of loading and move forward in the next video covering load factors. See you in the next video.